Hello Mila, hello Jack. Hello everybody else who's watching, welcome to Storytime with Grandad. Today's book is from Captain Pugwash and it is A Sticky Moment. The black pig lay at anchor in Bumblebuzz Bay. Captain Pugwash and his crew were stocking up on pots of delicious honey from the wild Bumblebuzz bees. Jonah had decided to take up beekeeping and make his own honey but he hadn't told the rest of the crew about his new hobby. When the others weren't looking, Jonah crept on board with a beehive covered in a blanket. Then he secretly took it below deck to his workshop. Cutthroat Jake was watching Jonah through a telescope. One of Pugwash's men's just carried a big box of treasure on board, he told his crew with an evil grin. And tonight we're going to stay. Steal it. On the black pig, Tom was rounding everyone up for tea. He found Jonah down below in his workshop, with bees buzzing all around him. You can't have bees on board, Jonah, said Tom. It might upset the captain. But I can make my own honey now, said Jonah, and the captain doesn't need to know. Pugwash, Willie and the mate were munching huge piles of honey sandwiches when Tom and Jonah joined them. They were talking about bees. Aren't they killer bees in Bumblebuzz Bay? said Willie. Killer bees? cried Pugwash, looking alarmed. No, no, the Bumblebuzz bees are very friendly, said Tom. Well, I heard they were killer bees, said Willie. No, no, nonsense, Willie, muttered Pugwash. But as you're all so frightened, we'll leave first thing in the morning before any of the bees board our ship. That night, Tom tried again to persuade Jonah to get rid of the bees. This is no life for a bee, Jonah, he said. Bees need fresh air and sunshine. They'll get seasick on the ship. Jonah looked sad. He didn't want his bees to be sick. Come on, said Tom. Everyone's asleep. Let's get this hive up on deck and into the rowing boat. Meanwhile, Jake and his crew were quietly rowing over to the black pig. Pugwash and his crew will be fast asleep by now, whispered Jake. We'll creep aboard and snatch the treasure. Will it fit in a boat, boss? asked Duke. Of course it will, hissed Jake as they reached the black pig. Jonah and Tom were carrying the beehive to the rowing boat when they heard noises. Now, you horrible lot, Jake growled. Get onto the black pig and steal that box of treasure. That's cutthroat Jake, whispered Tom. It sounds like he's after your hive. What shall we do? said Jonah. I know, said Tom. Why don't we paint honey round the hive? Then when they try to steal it, they'll get stuck. Tom and Jonah heard Jake and his crew climbing aboard the black pig. They quickly painted a th thick circle of sticky honey round the beehive. Here they come, said Tom. Quick, Jonah, hide. They hid in the shadows, one on each side of the cabin doors. Down below deck, Pugwash was asleep in his bed, snoring loudly. Suddenly he gave a grunt and a snort and woke up. Clattering collie wobbles. I'm starving, he said. I'd love another honey sandwich. He climbed out of bed and went off in search of a midnight snack. Pugwash flung open his cabin doors, squashing Jonah and Tom behind him. Oh no, it's a captain, whispered Tom. We mustn't let him find us here. Very quietly, he and Jonah crept out from behind the doors and tiptoed into the cabin. Then Pugwash lifted up his lamp and saw the hive. Blistering barnacles, he cried. Tom, bees on board, help! With a horrible roar, Jake and his crew leapt out of the shadows, waving their cutlasses. We're not bees, Pugwash, you old fool, shouted Jake. We're bigger than bees with a sharper sting. Tom, screamed Pugwash, running towards the cabin. Then Duke spotted the beehive. There's a treasure boss, he said. Come on, you lot, let's grab it, shouted Jake. They hurried towards the hive. Ah! yelled Jake as he skidded on the honey and landed with a crash. Duke and Swine tripped over Jake and Stinker fell flat on his tummy. 
They all kicked and struggled, but got stickier and stickier. Tom, Pugwash and Jonah peered round the cabin door. Oh no, said Tom, the bees are going to swarm. With a loud buzzing, the bees swarmed out of the hive and attacked Jake and his crew. The pirates screamed and flapped their arms as the angry bees stung them. Then all at once the bees started swarming into Jake's big black beard. The bees are nesting, shouted Jake. Let's get out of here. But none of them could move. They were all stuck to the deck. While Jake and his crew struggled to escape, Tom came out of the cabin with a honey jar. Jonah followed, carrying two buckets of water. Tom put the jar down on the deck, and at once the bees flew into it. Then, quick as a flash, Tom screwed on the lid. Now, Jonah, cried Tom. Jonah threw the water over Jake and his men. Hey, I'm free, shouted Duke, as the water washed away the honey. I'm getting out of here. He ran to the side of the ship. Out of my way, roared Jake, pushing past Swine and Stinker. They all run, shouting and cursing to the side of the ship, and leapt into the sea. That will cool your bee stings down, laughed Jonah. As soon as Jake had gone, Pugwash leapt out of the cabin with his cutlass. Where are you, Jake, you scoundrel? he demanded. They've all gone now, Captain, said Tom. Oh, but what about the bees, said Pugwash. Tom held up the honey jar. Jonah and I will take them ashore first thing in the morning, he said. Next day, Tom and Jonah returned the bees. When they got back to the ship, they overheard Pugwash telling Willie and the mate about his adventure. Jake leapt on board with a hive of killer bees, said Pugwash. Oh, Captain, said Willie, you must have been so frightened. Nonsense, said Pugwash proudly. But you should have seen Jake quiver when I drew my cutlass. Tom and Jonah stood outside the cabin and smiled. I think we'll wait here for a bit longer, don't you, Jonah? said Tom. Yes, laughed Jonah. We don't want to upset the captain. They let Pugwash finish his story, and William the mate never did find out what happened that night. The end. Goodbye, Mina. Goodbye, Dick. I'll see you soon. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.